This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Hey everyone and welcome back. The season's balance changes have brought in some uh, interesting competition in the MP meta, so in this video we'll be covering the best weapons to use as of this season, featuring some familiar and not so familiar options. Kickstarting the list, we have the UR736, a light machine gun with extremely high potential at range due to having very strong upper body multipliers, which effectively gives you a massive bore shot range of 45 meters, meaning you don't even have to build for range. The multipliers also allow you to potentially 3-shot kill in the initial range of 32 meters by landing all upper body shots. You can get a time to kill of 194 milliseconds. For a light machine gun, mobility is surprisingly good and is closer to a heavy assault rifle and a proper light machine gun. However, this is mostly theoretical as the UR does have some noticeable downsides. While it does have the potential to kill extremely fast in the initial range, it is not consistent as landing a single shot to the stomach or below will punish you with a time to kill of 291 milliseconds. The U will also somewhat has a recoil problem, as the kick will suddenly shift mid-spray, and being a light machine gun means that it will handle slower than assault rifles. Next up is the PP-19 Bison. The Bison is still good, commonly used in rank as it's the easiest SMG in the game. It features arguably the least recoil in the game and extremely strong upper body multipliers, which allows you to have an insanely fast close range time to give 184 milliseconds, and gives it a great full shot range of 20 meters. This, along with the massive 64 round magazine that reloads surprisingly fast, it really shouldn't be this fast, makes it a very strong option for close and somewhat medium ranges, while being capable of pre firing like a light machine gun. It would have been a best SMG if not for the fact that the fire rate is slow for an SMG at 652 rounds per minute. This means that challenging faster firing SMGs is not as ideal for this weapon. It is also very reliant on your ability to hit upper body up close, as failing to get at least two upper body shots will result in a close range time to kill of 276 milliseconds, which just is not very good. This one might be a surprise, and a first to many, but the newly buffed AGR-556 is now an incredibly reliable option if you want consistent performance in a submachine gun. To briefly summarize its strengths, it features a consistent time to kill of 240 milliseconds, Good range for an SMG, decent mobility, extremely high bullet spread accuracy that beats even the majority of assault rifles, and AR penetration similar to the CBR. Although the AGR does have some problems of its own, first of which being the reload time, which is not just slow for SMGs but slow in general, even assault rifles reload faster than it. Also while the overall recoil is easy to control, there is a decent amount of kick on the initial shots, which can throw you off especially with a high visual shake on a base variant. The newly buffed AK-107 has been brought back from the dead and it now excels as a flex assault rifle. With an excellent time to go 234 milliseconds up to 20 meters, forgiving fire rate, tight hipfire and low recoil thanks to this season's patch, it is capable of competing with SMGs up close while being no pushover at longer ranges, something that the Quick 6 can't do on a consistent basis. However, it doesn't have the best aim down sight timing class, so you can't play nearly as aggressively as SMGs. Its recoil while low still has some slight horizontal randomness, which will prevent you from taking extremely long-range fights. The newly buffed LK-24 is a great option if you want a fully automatic assault rifle that thrives at longer ranges. With arguably the easiest recoil in the game, and the best bullet spread accuracy out of the fully automatic weapons, it is insanely reliable at longer ranges. By landing one headshot and one upper body shot, you can get an extremely fast time to kill of 190 milliseconds up to 25 meters, and landing two upper body shots in the second range allows you to extend its full shot range all the way up to 38 meters. Do note that its fire rate is slower than the kilo, which means that it will struggle at closer ranges, as the punishment value is higher and time to kill is slower without factoring in the multipliers. The iron sights are also very limiting, so you will need to spend a slot on an optic if you don't have a good blueprint. Next up we have the QQ9 and the Switchblade X9. The Switchblade X9 along with the newly buffed QQ9 take the spots as the best options for close quarters combat. Both of them perform very similarly, with a time to kill around 215 milliseconds, predictable recoil, and good mobility, but they do have their own differences, which may make one of them more appealing to some. The Q9 has better consistency as leg shots do not punish time to kill, and has the potential to extend the initial time to kill all the way out to the second range by landing upper body shots. The sprint to fire time is incredibly fast, even for the SMGs, at 100 milliseconds. The Switchblade, on the other hand, trades some of that for better overall mobility and much faster reload speed, making it a better option for those who have the need for speed. Their effectiveness in close quarters combat is kept in check by their mediocre damage drop-offs and bullet spread accuracy, which will prevent you from taking longer range fights, therefore greatly hindering their versatility. When it comes to light machine guns, there's still no better option than the Holger 26. Just like past seasons, it features excellent range relative to its impressive time to kill, 
easy recoil disembolus spread accuracy, and the strongest no stock attachment in the game, which boosts strafing speed by a monstrous 40%. This combined with the fast reloading 100 round magazine means that very few can survive your line of fire. But being a light machine gun means your handling and movement speed will be slower, which makes it less effective for running and gunning. Before we continue, we have a question for you. Are you tired of figuring out what to make for dinner every night? Do you wish to enjoy a healthy, delicious home-cooked meal without going through the trouble of meal planning and grocery shopping? If your answer is yes, then you should check out none other than today's sponsor, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you will receive a weekly package at your doorstep that contains high-quality, fresh ingredients along with easy-to-follow recipes. The recipes themselves can be prepared in no more than half an hour, while being fun and intuitive to follow, which makes preparing them a breeze. If all this sounds good to you and you want to start your journey with HelloFresh, then feel free to use the link in the description to enjoy a limited time discount along with free shipping. A big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and back to the video. The Kilo 141 has been in the meta for about a year now, so most of you should be more than familiar with it. But for those who are new to the game, the Kilo features incredibly low recoil and great bullet threat accuracy of 7.17 on the 11 point scale, making it very consistent at taking long range gunfights and head glitches. The range value is also very impressive with a 4 shot range going up to 23 meters and 5 shots up to 38 meters. Similar to the LK, you can easily reduce shots to kill by landing a single headshot outside of the 4 shot kill range. Its time to kill, while not super impressive, is also not terrible when considering its effectiveness along the ranges, and it is only around 1 frame slower than the Holger. The Krik 6 is still a great flex assault rifle that has never left a meta since its release. Its minimal damage drop off makes it very consistent at longer ranges, and the chest and head multipliers are incredibly rewarding for close and even longer ranges. The easy recoil and bullet spread accuracy makes long range fights a breeze, and the Black Ops Gunsmith allows you to efficiently boost mobility and handling. All of these make for a great all purpose weapon that can handle most situations, but it's not without its faults. For starters, the close range time to kill is not very good for a flex assault rifle at 276 milliseconds, and while it does have the potential of the three shot kill with headshots, you will not be able to achieve it very consistently. Not to mention the base variant of the Krik has some of the worst iron sights in the game. If you're looking for a weapon to hold long sightlines, you will want to use the SKS. There is no better option to hold long sightlines than this weapon. The SKS is the strongest weapon on paper due to its potential to two shot kill for blistering fast time to kill of 165 milliseconds and even one shot to the head up to infinite range. There is no range limit. In the right hands, it is unrivaled at range. It can even hold its own in close quarters. The fire rate is limited by the user's trigger finger, which means that you will likely never reach the fire rate cap. And even if you do, the fire rate is still slow at 363 drops per minute, so there is no room for missing shots. The two tap is not guaranteed either, as you will need to hit the upper body, and failing to do so would punish you with a time to kill of 370 milliseconds. But then again, hit your shots, and you win. Another honorable mention goes to the HPK 30. With large caliber equipped, it has some of the most absurd damage ranges relative to its fire rate. Similar to the Krig, it never requires more than 5 shots to kill, which makes the damage output extremely consistent. Total shots are very rewarding, up to 14 meters, as they provide the potential to 3 shot kill for a time to give 181 milliseconds, if you can get all total shots. Headshots are also ridiculous, and landing 2 headshots up to 23 meters will result in a 2 shot kill, which equates to 91 milliseconds time to kill. All this while having great recoil and bullet spread accuracy means that there isn't a range where the gun is not effective. But the main reason this gun isn't on the list is magazine capacity. Due to large caliber being mandatory, you are limited to a measly 29 rounds per mag. This is very restricting, and you will find yourself losing gunfights because you had to reload after a kill. After a whole grueling year, the CBR4 still retains the title as the best overall SMG. Who would have thought? With the potential to kill in 225 milliseconds, up to 17 meters, along with next to no recoil for giving fire rate, and a large magazine size of 50 rounds. This gun has been used to death by the majority of players, and while its mobility is not the best, it is still more than sufficient. However, it does have its own downsides, sort of. For one, the close range time to kill is not 100% guaranteed, since it relies on upper body shots, and you may occasionally get a subpar time to kill of 300 milliseconds. The bullet spread accuracy is also not great at 4.69 on the 11 point scale, which limits your effective range despite a lack of recoil. That's all for today. What are your top weapons? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. Go and talk.